Hi guys and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this short video, we're going to take a look as to how you can put in an automatic reference number into a table in Excel. So in this one, we have the numbers 1 to 25. And if I were to add in a new row at the bottom of this table, it automatically adds in the new number. Now, there's a number of ways that you can do this. Most people would simply start by typing the sequence and then dragging down, but I'm going to show you a way of doing it slightly more robustly using a formula. So if we simply undo those last few moves and take out our formulas in here, what we're going to use today is the row function. So if I were to just type in the very basic version of this function, so equals row, and then just hit enter, what it will do is it will tell you the row number of your workbook. So obviously this is row five, so we've got a five in there, all the way down to row 29 with a 29 in that cell. Now this isn't particularly useful because we want this to start at one. Now the easiest way to do that is to take away these first four rows. So if you were going to do that, you would say minus four, and there we have it starting at one. However, this is going to cause a problem if we were to say insert another row here, because you'll see now that we're still taking away that four, but there's now five rows above. So we're obviously only going to be starting at two. So that's not ideal. So the way I most like to do that is to actually take away the row number of your header row. So what we're going to do is we're going to say equals row. And then our reference is going to be the cell above. So our headers, because this is a table, it comes up as the headers for the table itself. And what we need to do then is we need to close our brackets and hit enter. And you'll see now it starts again at one because our header is in row four. So essentially this is returning a four if we put it in here, you can see that returns a four. And this means that if we say take away a row or add in as many rows as we want, that first reference will still just start at one. And then if we add in some additional text down the bottom, you can see the automatic numbering continues. So this is one way to get a sequential reference in a table. You can also combine this with text if you want to use a particular referencing style. So for example, say I wanted to start with, so we're going to open some inverted commas. We're going to say ref zero zero, and that's what we want all of them to start with. Then we're going to put in an ampersand and the numbering in there. And if we hit enter, you'll see they all start with ref zero zero, and then the numbers follow. Do you have other ways that you use to put in sequential numbering into a table? If so, do let me know in a comment. Hope that you found this video useful. Remember to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.